What is going on YouTube? We are here today. We're gonna be replacing this condenser coil on a brand new system. Apparently it's leaking around this area. Um, this is a brand new house pretty much. About a year old. Um, yeah, so we gotta walk over here, see what we need. Luckily we're not that far from the van. So. I believe it's a two ton, it's a pretty small coil. This small one. Seems to be running. It's probably holding a bit of charge, so. Wasn't me who was the one who did this diagnostic, so. They just sent me over to do it, so we pretty much got to cover the refrigerant, and when it's doing the recovery, we're going to start taking everything apart, as you pretty much got to take everything apart. So, it's nice how they're building these newer homes, thinking of us, water spigot right there, and a plug, so that is awesome. So, we're going to get to it, I'm going to go get my stuff, and start the process right here all right guys so i got pretty much everything that i need for now the power machine uh there's a bucket to put some water just in case the cover tank starts getting warm got the vacuum pump um i'm gonna do a quick vacuum on the recovery tank and then i'm gonna hook everything up so it can start doing the recovery unfortunately this plug right here does not have any power so i had to plug in over there where the water heater's at. Ran my extension cord over here. So let me put this all in a vacuum and then I'll probably start disassembling at least the fan and that kind of stuff. All right, so pretty much almost done on the tank right here. I'm hooking up my gauges to this guy right here. I'm gonna start setting everything up so when that's done now I'll switch the extension cord to this guy and start it getting recovered. All right, so the recovery machine is doing this thing. Working pretty good. We got two pounds in. Tank's not it's starting to get warm, but we're not that far off now. So I already took the top screws off. Uh, thinking I'm just taking the whole thing off together with the fan on it. Not sure how difficult it'll be to put it back, so we're gonna find out. All right, so got it, everything recovered. It's a five pound system. I could only get three pounds and seven ounces out of it. And I don't know if you can tell the stain here in the camera. This is all full of oil, all this stuff around here. And you can also see the stain on this side. See all that side right there. So I'm gonna set you guys up and I'm gonna start well, continue disassembling already. Got the fan, the top cover off. You do have to take the fan out because they wrap up the wires right here. And unfortunately, there's no not enough space when you try to pull it up to get your hand in there and try and take that off. So it's only two welds, as I can see on the new coil, which I believe that one is one down there. And believe this one down here. So I'm pretty much gonna take everything apart 
even the inverter board, everything out the way to make everything more comfortable. It is gonna take me a little bit longer, but I prefer to work more comfortable, not struggling, risking burning some wires and stuff just for being lazy. So let's go. panel leaning that way so all I gotta do is unsolder here and down there so let's see if I can push this down while I'm cleaning it up and see if it'll come out All right, so we got the old one out. It's right there. That's the brand new one. As you can see, this is how our condenser looks without its condenser coil. So those are the two welds right there. I'm gonna try and clean them. I'm gonna go get my shop back so it can pull anything that falls in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just set this one there and start welding.
Good to go. Sucks inside his hand. So everything's nicely welded back, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and pressurize it. Make sure they got nothing here. But before that, I gotta go jump up in the attic and replace the filter dryer. All right, so already got the system in vacuum. Kind of different this time, just direct with no gauges. You can see we're down to 4,500 right now. Been running for about three minutes so far. Uh, so I'm gonna start assembling all of this back and uh, figure out from there. I should have done this backwards or add another shutter removal tool on the other side so I can isolate it. So we're gonna see how this works. If not, then I'll just redo it. I don't mind doing it again. So. Yeah. All right, so had everything assembled back. Got the factory charge on it. It's about five pounds. And we just turned on the power. So you kind of see the LEDs in there. Another one there, so everything's on. Probably that indoor is trying to read it. When you pull the power out of this, it's going to throw a code, code 79, I believe it is. Outdoor, not, no, 179, I believe it is. Uh, outdoor, no communication. So I'm going to wait a few minutes, see if it turns on. If not, then obviously I'll walk inside and mess with the thermostat. So should be good there. Uh, we're going to head to the next one, which is going to the store to robert madden industries go pick up a compressor and we're gonna go mess with another uh brian evolution but that one is a regular brian evolution it's not an inverter and we got to replace the compressor the videos in my shorts you, you can go and watch it and you can see the compressor uh sounding a little bit louder and the amps kicking up so we're gonna do that also today and hopefully i can also make a video on that so see you guys on that next one